South Africa and a very warm welcome to you. My name's Jeannie D. Welcome to Afternoon Express. And of course, today is Tuesday, so I can't say it's our wonderful Wednesday cook-along anymore. I've got to think of something cute, like a tantalizing Tuesday cook-along or a like tasty that. choose, tasty Tuesday. We're yeah, keeping it yeah. spicy in the loft today. And of course, we're joined by our wonderful resident chef, Clem Pedro, and Hope Malal. How have the sales of your cookbook been? The, uh, the media are loving it. Yeah, I'm and, sure. And, and I just had a big event this weekend. Stunning. And people were just all over the place. Loving world. it. Yeah. Because I'm sure you can remember that we had <laughs> Hope in the Loft where he taught me how to make barbecue chicken feet. It was wonderful. That was a one-off experience yeah. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but today is going to be huge fun because, of course, we have another celebrity guest who's going to be joining us in the kitchen a little bit later. And we are live streaming on YouTube. So all you need to do is find Afternoon Express and you can watch us online from your kitchen while you cook along with us. So today is going to be really amazing. Now, you know, as, as I'm sure you know, Cape Town is preparing for the worst storm in over 30 years. Schools are closed tomorrow. Tomorrow, which means everybody's going to be staying indoors. Can I stay so home tomorrow? We have no, you're going oh. to work with me. So but we're preparing one of the most amazing dishes that apparently tastes better the next day. So if you cook along with us today, you eat this in the kitchen tomorrow and it'll taste even better. You know what I mean? You know where I'm going with this? Yeah. Okay, so teach me because I'm going to make this for dinner in case I am sick for work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I love chicken curry, but I've made it a few times on the show before, so I was like, wait, I know someone else who makes a killer chicken curry. So I called and Hope you? and I was like, Hope, what are you doing? We're going to be on the show. Let's cook together. You know the thing, too many cooks spoil the broth? Yeah. Not today. <gasps> Not, Not today. Not today because... I'm not a cook, so <laughs> we're good. I'm going to expect you to cook my share of what yeah, I right. So he's making it a delicious chicken curry with a bit of a rice twist that's 100% hope. You're going to love it. 100% hope. That's mm. exactly what we're doing today on Afternoon Express. All right, ingredients, just so that our viewers at home can get prepared while uh, we take a little break. So get your pots and pans ready. You're going to yep. need, in the beginning, to start off with three. We've got some beautiful chicken drumsticks. Get those ready. And then some onions and all your spices you're going to need for the actual curry. And of course, you can need oil to fry it all up in. Get exactly. that ready. And tongs. Get your tongs. Okay. And a knife. I mean, I mean, how are you going to, I mean, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. And we want you to cook along with us at home. So, we also want you to call us if you've got any kind of questions. If you've got any culinary questions or tips that you can uh, share with any of our chefs, give us a call live at any point during the show on 021 430 That's 021 430 Now, it wouldn't be a real cook-along without a real special celebrity guest. And joining us today is one of the country's hottest stars right now. Like, he's so super famous right now. He can be seen on SA's number one TV show, Uzalo, every weeknight as the leader of the Ngulo, Ngulo, Ngulo family syndicate. Off screen, he's also an avid pianist and singer. Plus, last year, he launched his own clothing line. It's name apps. <laughs> I'm going to show you the planet and the planet. It's all about the same as I want. I'm a planet to a bit so important. It's all about the most. Getting in a woman and now we're watching Jago Melisling. This cat is perfect and it's right. Who's the squad to push at the planet? I'm going to see who's a moon bullet. Oh, I'm bad. Miss Princess, I'm in the show. Yeah, I'm going to get a bullet. 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 Okay, so finally we have you in our loft. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. My pleasure. Now, you are just so hot right now. Like, are you able to go shopping normally without being stormed by a group of people? <sighs> it, is, it, it has become so hard. It's so hard to even just go to the store. You want to go buy milk for breakfast, and it ends up being a photo shoot for, like, 30 minutes. Amazing. Sure. It's it's crazy. But look, I am humbled and grateful for the love I'm getting sure. from the fans. Yeah. But it wasn't always like this. I mean, Uzalo was kind of your big break, I suppose. Yeah. So what were you doing before and what was your audition like? Before Uzalo, I was I had been in the music scene, um, yeah. being a backing artist and performing at weddings and gigs. And then I then got into modeling. Okay. Got an agency, got into modeling, and then I started doing TV ads. Yeah. Became a TV commercial artist. And then after that, I became a TV presenter. Mm -hmm. As I was TV presenting, and then I then heard about auditions, because I'd always wanted to be an actor. Yeah. 
Got to the auditions, shoo, the auditions, I had to borrow a car, hustle some cash for petrol. And I drove all the way to baseline and I waited for about six hours before I auditioned. It was yeah. a, a long queue in Joburg. With the six hours, eventually got the opportunity to audition. Auditioned and all they said was, thank you. Come back on Sunday for the callbacks. Took the script, went home. I was, I rushed home. I was so <laughs> excited. I rehearsed, rehearsed, rehearsed. Got back on Sunday. Yeah. Auditioned for the executive producers and the people that needed to be there. After the audition, all they said was, thank you. No sign of oh, you've wow. made it or not. And I'm thinking, at least tell me, you know. Yeah. Waited for six months. I think that was you like You waited the, for six I months. I kid you not. That would have driven me dilly. Yeah, that, that's what happened to me. I would have thought, okay, it's done. They've cast somebody did. else. I've I did, obviously started I did cheating. think that, you know what, maybe it's not going to happen. But I won't lie to you. After the callbacks, yeah. I just had this huge sense within me that, you know what, I, I don't know what the production or this whole show is about, but I need to be part of it. Even yeah. if it's just a small part. Yeah. And I had that within me. Three months down the line, <clears throat> there was another guy. Funny enough, the, <clears throat> the youngster that is also on the show, or that was on the show, we kept checking on each other because he had audition as well. I'm like, boy, have you heard anything? He's like, no, I haven't heard anything. I'm like, shh, it's been four months now. Yeah. Six months later, I get a call. They're like, hi, is this Name Apps? I'm like, yes. We just want to say congratulations. You've officially made it onto Uzalo. Amazing. I think that was a long time. Six months later, life. that's huge. And for those of you who don't know, because you're all busy watching SABC3 and Alsha, obviously, Uzalo is on SABC1, and it's a telenovela that broadcasts to over eight million people every night. Mm. It's the biggest show in the country. Yeah. I mean, so from that must have been quite a revelation and quite a massive change in your life, though, because did yeah. you ever think that the show was going to be as big as what it is? I didn't think it would... I didn't... Initially, I, did, I didn't think so, honestly. Yeah. I've always had a vision to... I always saw myself as an international brand. And I was like, God, let each and everything that I'm part of or that I do be of excellence and be big. But I did not know that the, sh the, sh the specific show was gonna would be happen the way. Yeah, I got it to is. Durban, and the producers told me that, listen, the show is about you. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe the it because pressure. I just, the pressure. I just wanted a small part, and when it happened, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I was so grateful, and even till this day, as much as the show is big, for me, it's only still the beginning. Now, your family must be so tremendously proud of you because yeah. what a great gig. And I mean, you are doing so absolutely well in it. But Thank you, you so do much. play a bit of a shady character. I mean, you're cool yeah. as ice, but your character's pretty shady. Yeah. And in real life, your father is a priest and a community leader. So true. how does he handle that bad boy side of you? <laughs> <laughs> I think what helped is that we had an initial conversation before everything happened. Mm. Um, we start off with conversations such as what would happen if you were chosen for an alcohol ad? Um, yeah. Being a pastor's son, how would you handle that? We well, how would you handle it? I would do it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad I, I, wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to make him understand. He had a point because, okay, he's a priest. They know me as a pastor's son. What message am I conveying? I was yeah. like, okay, you've he got a point, a dad. Uh, at the same time, for me, it's more of a craft and work. Exactly. As a brand, it's as a model. It's not you, it's your it's character that exactly, you're playing, Exactly, sure. exactly. So then told him that, Dad, my character is going to be a gangster, mm. and he'll be doing things that are contrary from how I do things, mm -hmm. but please do understand that it is my work. Yeah. And as an actor, I step out of name apps and work and portray the character of Olisi, yeah. or the character that I need to portray at that specific time. And I suppose it's your family's role to keep you really grounded, because I yeah. think especially from, you know, going from being relatively unknown, I mean, you were working in the industry, but yeah. relatively unknown, True. to now literally so super famous. I think every single girl in this office and around when we told <laughs> that you were coming was mm -hmm. like, I mean, you're now basically heartthrob level of South Africa. Ish. So I Thank think you, you need your Thank family you. now to keep you grounded. That is so true, um, especially in the industry we're in. Mm. We get, <clears throat> sorry, we get so consumed by everything that happens around us. Exactly. Um, there's a lot of pretension as well. Yeah. And people expect you to live a certain way. Yeah. And in the, midst of, in the midst of all of that, one needs to find a way to recenter themselves, to exactly. center themselves and focus, you know? And my family plays a very, 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 big role in that sure. and I try by all means to also recenter myself in my own space 
sure. because it does get crazy. I mean, you know. You I know. know, and you know, I hate to ask personal questions. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend at the moment? She's, because I know it, it must be quite difficult as well managing a relationship in the space. I think I think for me, the way my life is happening right now, I'm my, I, I hardly have time, and I feel like if I'm gonna, if I'm going to have a relationship with someone, yeah, I need to make sure I dedicate enough time because I feel like it'd be so unfair. So right now, I'm doing me, I'm focusing on me. When yeah. the time happens, it'll happen. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, you, doing you is really pretty busy because I mean, the, the hours that you spend on set are 12 crazy. Hours set. Twelve hours a day, yep. every day on set. Yeah. Where did you get time to start your clothing line as well? Sure, I've always had the vision to have my own. Are clothing you wearing line. your own? This stuff? is me. Yeah, I'm actually wearing a sleeveless hoodie today. So cool. Um, so it's nice. There's some very nice winter goodies. It's a men's and women's range. Nice. Thanks so... for bringing me a little care package. That's yeah, great. definitely. You you should expect <laughs> a mail. From I'm the next teasing week. you, but you've got some hot stuff. Yeah, it's really it's sports lux deluxe. Yeah, it's got that thing. It's got that thing. Um, the time, I found the time after working. Yeah. Yes, I go through my scripts. So I, I started dedicating at least 30 minutes to an hour each and every day. Yeah. Because I've always, I've always had the vision to have my own brand. Yeah. Like it's been four years ago. So step by step, <clears throat> eventually it, it happened. And yeah. it's only the beginning, like I always keep saying. Yeah. But I'm grateful for the response. People are loving the product. There's an online store. It's yeah. na at namapsclothing.com. People Amazing. are buying, people are buying, and it's expanding and expanding. Amazing. Yeah. Well, there you have it. He's definitely a triple threat. He can sing, he can dance, he can act, but can he cook? We're gonna find Ooh. out after the break. <laughs> Live Scratch Free with new Head & Shoulders African Scalp Care.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, it is our tasty Tuesday cook along. And we've got our fantastic guests, Hope Malau and Nay Maps in the loft. Now, I, Nay, I was asking you about yeah. your upbringing. You also come from a township in Pretoria. Yep. Yep, I do. Yeah. Now, I've, I want to ask a question. If you can pass me your book, Hope. I was paging through this because this obviously is available at all really good bookstores and it is doing so well. And I was looking at some of the recipes in it. And this one is flame grilled dove. Hmm. Sounds interesting. And I really love this, the start of your recipe. It says, growing up, the township was ghetto, but there was still some wilderness and we were free to explore it. <laughs> one pastime was to go shoot mapoi, which is doves with a sling. Mm. You, you didn't do any of that. I did. Um, really? In, 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 in the hood. <laughs> Is this a thing? Uh, I yeah. did. I did. We call it a stick wrecker um, back in Pretoria. Yeah. In Social Groover, because that's the hood. I, that's the township <laughs> yeah. I grew up in. And literally, you just want to hit the birds and have a bird and then cook it and, and then just have yeah. a feast. Everybody, you know? everybody oh. goes to home and steal a potato. One will yeah. go and steal maize. One will yeah. go and steal a, a tomato. It's a whole meal. You see, drama. I was so deprived. In our Portuguese family, we had just to do, had to chase the bunnies if we wanted. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so today we're starting, and unfortunately, we're not going to make any dove, but we are making a chicken curry. Hope this is your recipe. Oh, so yeah. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to give you guys over there. Cool. Okay. Start frying the chicken for me. Okay. Right. Right. Wait, do you want it over here? Actually, yeah, no, let's do it there. Okay, okay that's right. right. Okay. How good are your cooking skills? Let's just cook. Let's cook. <laughs> if any, if any, I saw some fire extinguishers there, but yeah, I we think it was that bad. <laughs> okay, you can pop it into like, I'm going to put the stove on, that's going to come to temperature real quick. But let me okay. give you a bit of oil quickly. You right. smoking hot, so I'm pretty sure your cooking can't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> just well, like that. Well, flattering okay. coming from you. Thank you. Let me you. get your heat on nice yeah. and high. Yeah. Cool. I nice really love chicken. this chicken recipe. It's so full of flavor and it really is like an essential winter dish. Cool. Cool. But why are we leaving? I mean, does bones and all go into the curry? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why? You don't like bones. I mean, it's well, part of flavor as well. What I know about cooking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And it's quite true. I like go. cooking chicken on the yeah. bone as well because you do get more flavor in there. And for some mm. reason, it kind of ends up being a little more tender. Is that I really feel? Yeah. The, yeah. the chicken yeah. that's um, off the bone, normally your chicken breast, tends to dry it really quickly. quickly. Okay. Yeah. Especially yeah. for curry. So I like that you've gone and used chicken drumsticks with Ooh. the skin on. Don't take it off. I yes. love the skin. Is yeah. the skin really that much more fattening for you? Because surely it's a protein, like a good fat. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not even going to lie and tell you it's a protein. It's not. The, the skin does have a lot of fat in it. Okay. But if you think about it, you could just use less oil when frying it. Yeah. It oh, does okay. rent out its own fat, so definitely keep the skin on. And it's man. so tasty. I think it's so tasty. Though. There we yeah, go. Yeah, if you're all a bit really hectic skin. about it, maybe cook it with the skin on and take it off afterwards. I love the finishing you know part of, of after eating it. You actually start to suck on the bone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that. So now cool. I know why dieting is always so hard for me. I'm like, leave the skin on the chicken. <laughs> cool. So can I get started on the actual curry part of this? I'm going to fry some yeah. onions along. Okay, this is starting right. to get a little bit warmer. We're starting to get a little movement in yeah. our oil. Yes. Cool. Okay, onions. So any curry, any curry has got to start with the onions. onion. Okay. Oh. If someone starts to carry and you're missing the onion, go home. Go home. <laughs> you're very right. Go. But please, give me... We, we had a, a short conversation earlier. I was saying I don't want to cut the onions because they usually make me cry. Like, you know when you cut onions and yeah. you just cry? Why aren't you crying? It's the sharp knife. You need a sharp knife. Apparently that's his trick. Oh, so the secret is a knife. Yeah. It is. My you... secret is goggles. <laughs> 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 Okay, the but shop, seriously, is it the sharper the knife, the, the less the tears? Yeah, it is, because it's something about oh. breaking up the cells that are actually inside the onion, and then that vaporizes and that gets into your eyes. So if you're using a sharp knife, it's about the clean cut, it doesn't vaporize as much and it doesn't get into your eyes. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. so that's it. And Great, if, you're crying, if you're crying while you're busy chopping with a sharp knife, it's for other reasons. Yeah. What about the if you're crying while you cut chopping <laughs> yeah. onions with a sharp knife, break up with him. Yeah. Break up <laughs> with him, yeah. <laughs> cool, so onions going in. And then if you can just add some salt to the sure. onions for me. I like yeah. adding salt to the onions when I start frying them off. That sure, just brings babe. out a lot of the... Hey, look at that. Brings out a lot of the moisture hey. in there, so it actually cooks. Do you want some paper up. as well? Can you do me a favor? Can you just yeah. pour water for me in there? there in this one, in the middle one. Yeah. Okay. And then we can start cooking the rice as well. Eh? Great, example. look at Come, this. What rice I is this? like this. Is this, is this basmati rice? Paper? What's this? No. Uh, I think they're using basmati right now, right? Yeah. Mm, I love yeah. basmati. Let me see. 
Ja, 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 das ist Marc. Das ist Marc. Das Okay, cool. So, well, I can go straight in. There you go. And then... Yeah. Okay, the salt. I know what to do. The salt. You are in. Why do we do this? Is it not going to make the rice more salty? No. Or is it for water reasons? Ooh. Hope you can take this one. All right. When cooking rice, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. one cup. I'm using one cup right now and two cups of water, right? Okay. And the salt, you want the water to actually uh, to grab that water and put it in to season the rice properly. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason why you season it while the water is in there, right? Fabs, can I help you here? Yeah, please, please do. <laughs> okay, can you add the bay leaf in there? You, in, in the pot, in the pot. Yeah. That's so cool, so you add the bay leaf to the rice. Yeah. I love that idea, so that the Ooh. flavor permeates okay. through. Sweet. Okay, how good, it's like, all on like, the wrist. Ooh. Oh, no, all the wrist. There's yeah. like a dance that was going on right here. Yeah, like something oh. was actually oh. happening. Oh. Didn't you yeah. teaching me? <laughs> this curry's gonna have a lot of salt. Oh yeah. Cool, so I'm gonna get started on Cooks your spice love. mix. Cool. Cool. cool, so cool. what I'm using for it, I'm gonna use some coriander seed. And coriander seed's great, because it's got that beautiful citrusy notes. Okay. Mm. We, we know Ooh. this, we, we share. Yeah. We know this. Yeah. There are two kinds of people in this world, those that love coriander and those that really, really hate it. I'm a lover of coriander. Right. I, I love, I love, I love coriander. Okay, Anything healthy good. and tasty that makes my food taste good, mm. way to go. Okay. I love it too. Yeah. I love it. So can you give that a small? Cu what is that? Cumin? No, no, no. no. That's like tastes licorice. like licorice. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, fennel seed. Hey, 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 man. You learn something new. Okay, we've got fennel in there. Next up. And then cardamom. So cardamom. A little bit goes a long way, but cardamom adds the most amazing oriental flavor to curries. Great. So it comes in a pod form. So, I mean, this is one pod, or two pods. These are the pods. Yeah. And what's pretty cool is that you kind of break it up. Some people say, like, once you bite on this, you're done with the dish. Yeah. It's over. It's all you get to taste for the whole day. Is it? But the way we do it today, we're going to grind it up. So it becomes a nice powder, so it, like, infuses perfectly. So, okay. four pods. What do you say, huh? Yeah, that's yeah? cool. Okay, I've got an idea. Is it ready to now crush up? Just a little bit of um, salt to kind of like Just bring it all together. All right. So I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it over here. I'm gonna pass it over here. Okay. You guys gonna get busy? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Because awesome. you know I like to bump and grind. Oh. oh but really? you love to sing, and you've got like a serious like R and B little flavor in your style yeah. of singing. So I tell you what, I'm gonna. Okay. Oh. Hey. Can I be all a right. shoe walker? Oh, oh, come on, let's rip. I'm waiting okay. for you to sing. All hey. right. Whoa. We're gonna hey. eat today. Whoa. We're gonna have hey. some chicken today. Whoa. I don't hey. know about you, but I'm gonna eat this chicken right now. No, but we have to wait for it to, 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 to be... Well, you're not going to eat it right now. No, no, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you don't want the salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Yeah. I'm such a good drummer, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Better watch out for you. <laughs> I think I'll you handle should, you the chicken, actually... you handle the spice. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put you back okay. on that. Give it a good, good like, grinding, get it all yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you... Oh. Hey. I've hey. got skills, Sam. Hey? Rhythm. Do, do. I love this. I like this. There so much go. flavor. Okay, so the onions are browning off really well. That's looking really good. So the reason we're actually browning off the chicken before, it actually helps the chicken cook a lot faster in the curry. Okay. But also by browning it, you get that intense chicken flavor on the outside. So you can use water in your curry, not chicken stock. That okay. way I got it as well. Why wouldn't the, you do the that? The flavors that, that are gonna stay in, inside the pan, we're gonna actually use them again later on. Oh, I see. Yeah. Tell me something, you invented this recipe okay. basically. Okay. So how did you come up with it? What was your inspiration behind it? The way that inspired me. Really? And again, when I thought of the yellow rice, I, I thought of back home we've got this thing of, of whether when we have occasions, we've got this thing of adding raisins into the yellow rice. So I thought maybe I should spice it up and give it mm. that wholesome flavor. I don't know you, wow. you, if you've heard it. That yellow like, rice with the raisins and you're always asking why are raisins inside Yeah, I've always wondered why yeah. raisins really sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. But yeah. now I've, I've got, I'll tell you about it. Later, what am I doing later. with the raisins? Okay. okay. And then just to check, because I wasn't really listening, I struggled with that. Why did you throw <laughs> the bay leaf into your rice? To infuse into the rice. So what kind mm. of flavor because, will because the bay leaf Because bay leaf, leaf needs time to actually release. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I'm cooking it with the, with the water and the rice. Mm. I find, oh, yeah, mm. I find the rice is always like a bit of a canvas, so yeah. it like loves other flavors being added to it. And yes. I love it use the bay leaf. I'm, I'm taking that one, okay? <laughs> 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 There's just come like an aromatic, this, like, oh, festival this, in here today. It smells so damn good. How yummy? Yeah, oh. that's amazing. Cool. 
Oh, cool. that is so, yeah. so, so lovely. Cool. Okay, so we've got our onions on the go, we've got our rice on the go, we've got our chicken, and we're making yeah. some spices. Sure. Remember that we are taking your calls today live. If you've got any question or comments for our fantastic chefs mm -hmm. or for our hot celebrity guest, and our number <laughs> is 021 430 Give us a call and chat to us. And uh, yeah, we're going to be right back after the break while we yep. <laughs> mix our spices. <laughs> Hey. Okay, let's do this some more. Sea Harvest. New look, same great taste. That again, Shal, I can't hear you. This song, oh. goes, this song is for Ginny D. Oh, oh. Uh. Obviously. I need your body and brains. Oh. That you don't understand, but I'm losing my patience. So we been going over and over again. Cause I just wanna take you home. Wow. The chicken's cooking. The chicken's cooking. Wow. It's done. <laughs> That escalated quickly. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. But I mean, you are taking your music really seriously. I yes. think you play a lot of instruments as well. When did your, your love for music start? My, oh, my love for music started from a very young age. I think yeah. because of my dad. My dad is very musical. Yeah. Uh, I would with sing the, a with lot. With the like, gospel choir? Yes, I sang in the gospel choir. I was part of the worship team in the church. Mm -hmm. And then I ventured into my own style of music. So music has always been part of me from a very young age. Yeah, I feel like it's always, it's, it's, when you have a talent, like being a musician or being an artist, it's in you, you can't train that. that but you were taught instruments, or did you yes. teach yourself? I was self-taught. My dad taught me the basics with piano, like yeah. the one for the simple progressions. Yeah. And then I expanded on my own. I would research the material Amazing. and just learn songs. So I basically learned by ear. Yeah, really? and I play by ear, yeah. That's when you know that it's true talent, I think, when you can learn by ear. Hmm. I hardly listen. I can play like chopsticks, like diddle loom, doom, doom, diddle loom, doom, like wow, knuckles. Wow, with your knuckles? Knuckles, yeah. <laughs> Real talent. Wow, mm -hmm. no, 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 that's raw talent. <laughs> that's what I think. Very raw. Wow. Okay, so let's carry on with the cooking. Cool. Mm -hmm. The chicken's looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more flavor to our actual onions. Garlic. Look, okay. look how much garlic Hope uses in his recipe. Yeah. Hope. Yeah. That's what we are. That's why My we man. are friends. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> so a tree of garlic going in. A tree of garlic. Oh. I enjoy that. And then, we are never going to get sick on this show. No, 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 no. Never. <laughs> never. I mean, some ginger. And yeah. I, I feel like this is the trinity of a curry to start it off. Like, okay. as soon as you hit it with that ginger and the garlic, 
can, can you already smell? I can just smell. Oh, so wait, what, what, what three? What's the secret? The three? It's ginger, ginger, garlic, garlic, and onions. And onions. Mm -hmm. And onions. The trilogy. The trilogy. I think I'll definitely take that note so that the day I eventually may meet up with Jenny or someone else in life. Yeah. Um, I will cook that. Cool. In winter, it'll be nice. You're warm. already cheating on me. Just now you wanted to take me home. Yeah. Now you're hoping to find somebody else. <laughs> nice one, buddy. Yeah. Let's see how you work. Yeah. What are we putting in there? What are we putting this in? I like to change the topic. Bring it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Let's <laughs> just change so the topic. So that right looks now. really good. I've added a bit of water to the pot now because it was kind of sticking to the bottom. I don't want to add too much oil right now because you know, curries add that nice little bit of shimmer on the top, a little bit of oil. Yeah. So you end up having too much. You're just swimming in it. Yeah. Take it back. But that's nice when you take bread and you dunk it in that it sauce. Is. Oh, Sorry. you see, I'm preparing my winter body already. It's scary. <laughs> cool. That's a good Oh, that, that's that a cool? really good job. Thank I think with all that soulful music that's been happening in He's a really good yeah. grinder. Yeah. He's a perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Making us look bad here. Yeah. Yeah. That music. It's okay. It's okay. No, but but look guys, how fine he did okay. it. It's like powdery. It's proper. It's good, eh? <laughs> perfect. That can all go in. All of this. All of it. This is quite heavy. All right. And Ooh, oh, hey. you can oh. smell that already. It yeah. smells oh, so good. Beautiful. Is well, that a good mix? You. And then the other spices are going in. That We're going to go so in hot. with some oh, ground wow. coriander so as well. Ooh, look at that Ooh. beautiful color in there. Some yeah. garam masala. That's going Ooh. in. And turmeric. I love it. Turmeric. Turmeric, let me tell you, is the miracle spice. You know that you even get like little turmeric tablets now before anti-aging, detoxification. Turmeric is just so ridiculously good for you. When you see me on the show looking like this in 20 years time, turmeric. I'm actually 65, oh. guys. <laughs> for real? I'm, I'm on these turmeric capsules as well. So I heard that turmeric, like ladies even put on their face. Yeah. That's so true. Is it? Definitely. Wow. You, you don't have to worry about it because we've officially decided we know that black don't crack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this turmeric for my face if you don't mind. All right, cool. That chicken's looking nice and brown. It is. That can get transported straight into the curry page. I kind of like okay. it. Okay. Do you want to do it? Now. One, one piece at a time? One piece That's at a time. Yeah. That. You see, you've got skills. How so are your I, cooking skills? My cooking skills? Yeah. I think I'm a eight out of ten. Oh. No, I'll be lying to you. I don't even. I try and cook. I try and cook. But what I'm seeing today is, ooh, this is amazing. This is impressive. This is so impressive. So if I had to ask you, what was the last dish that you cooked for a, a date, a lady friend? What would it have been? Ah. Uh, see, my parents are watching the show, so. Does it, if, he's just it's PR answer, mom and dad. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I haven't yet cooked for someone. Okay. But I've cooked for myself. I've cooked... Um, Have you cooked for your family? Because you've got two sisters, right? Yes. So they're, they're ladies. Yes. <laughs> um, and they're amazing cooks, by the way. Yeah. I've tried to cook. I cook chicken, like now. You see, that's why I'm able to lift it up like that. Oh. And put it in there. That's because I've done this before. At home. Right. Could okay. you reduce the stove for me, please? Yeah, sure. I'm going to put that off. We're actually going to use that. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, okay. Oh, what about you? Because, you know, ladies love chefs. So tell me, like, what are the most amazing <laughs> dishes you've made? Uh, I cook everything, man. I cook everything. But because I was trained by a good steak chef, I, I love steaks. Really? And mm. whenever I've got that, that opportunity to cook a steak for a lady, yeah. then I would go for it. <laughs> that is the only dish that I could do, a steak. And, and then I'm what telling do you, you pair it with? Uh, ladies don't like anything heavy. So yeah. something like... Mash or just roasted potatoes and a cool Ladies sauce. Ladies don't like anything mm. heavy, so carbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, one. Okay, cool. So in this pan, I've added a little bit of water again, just and I've added the chicken. So what I've done is toss the chicken around, so the spice actually coats the chicken really well, oh, and it sucks so up all really that like really. spicy flavor. Okay. So in goes. Ooh. Splash. 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 Bingo, so chopped tomatoes. So tomatoes, tin tomatoes are quite great. And I like that you've used this in your recipe. Because cool. sometimes you find that tomatoes, it's not seasoned for them. Yeah. You can still buy them, but they just taste of water. Yeah. So tin tomatoes yeah. are great because yeah. they're going to get canned. 
when it's at its best, like that intense tomato flavor. Mm. And there's a bit of tomato sauce in there as well, which is really good. So, a little bit of water. And does the, if there's tomato sauce in there, does it mean that there's sugar in there so you don't have to add the sugar in later? Uh, <laughs> you brown sugar. Coming. I think we should start it like the three of us. Cup of brown dance. sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah. You yeah. sing, we'll just dance in the background. Okay. And we'll cook. How about, how about you guys start dancing now? Why are you giving me the sugar and I'll start putting, but you guys need to dance. Okay. I'm gonna have someone Why are you guys cutting me out all of this, eh? No, you're in it. You, because you're in you wrote it. But this is your receipt. All right. We're all doing right. this for you. All right. Okay, I get it. So, I get it. Are we do, what, are you what ready? Doing? Okay, cool. Well, we need a beat. Please give us the beat. There we right. go. And then you guys are gonna dance while I, I, yeah. I'll pull the sugar. Well, actually, on my Instagram video, you told me that I was gonna dance for you, and now we're training on Twitter. So it just goes to show. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do your dance. Hey. hey. Oh, hey, how much? Like that? A little more. A little, a little more. more. Okay. Hey. That's enough. That's hey. enough. Oh. <laughs> Is it okay? You yes. see, you can cook and you've got rhythm. Okay. You're amazing. I know, I know. <laughs> cool, so a little more salt before we put the lid on this guy. And you know what okay. I noticed? Look how little sugar Neymar threw in here, which means he's actually really body conscious. So maybe a little bit later, it's not going to kill you if you show us your six pack. I'm just saying. Look, I think you, you <laughs> spoke about something when we were seated there. Mm. And you, you told me that there's certain dance moves that you're going to do for me on my own. So I think we can possibly see how we can arrange. Sweetheart, that. I'm a private dancer. <laughs> not doing it I think for people million got the people. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, in that case, yeah, I think... Ooh, when it's too hot in the kitchen. <laughs> or if you can't handle the heat, it's time to get out of the kitchen. But anyway, yeah, let's do that. I'm okay. actually even sweating now. It's so hot. I know. It is, let's it is, quickly crazy. summarize where we are. Okay. Curry's boiling away nicely. Look at that simmering. Well done. Mm -hmm. This recipe is insane. So, our rice is... Almost, almost done. done. Almost done. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna add my onions in there. To you, know the what? Yes. you know what? Let's keep that for after the break. Right. I want you to tell okay. the people okay. out there about this amazing rice dish. All right. Cool. All right. So the rice is actually going to be really special. Yeah. Very special. Okay. I didn't know they were doing this. So the rice is going to be very special. And to find out exactly why, stay tuned until after the break. <laughs> Make Afternoon Express your destination for recipe inspiration. Find the ingredients and instructions to making these delicious meals, sides and desserts on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're coming to you live on SABC3. Of course, it is our tantalizing, tasty Tuesday cook-along. And we've got our wonderful guests. We've got Hope and, of course, Nay Maps in the love today, making a delicious curry. And, of course, you know, if you live in the Western Cape and the storms are preparing, the clouds are apparently going really grey, this is the most perfect, perfect dish to cook so that tomorrow when your mm. kids don't go to school, you can stay at home and watch TV eating this yummy yummy curry now we are taking your calls if you have anything to uh, say to our fantastic guests or if you've got any culinary questions that you'd like to ask our chefs all you need to do is give us a call on 021 430 9881 that's 021 430 9881 so let's have a quick recap we've yeah. got our curry that's boiling over here and then before the break we said that we we've got quite a special rice to make so oh Oh, don't burn. Now, my mum always told me that you know when rice is ready when there's lots of little holes yeah. poking through. Mm -hmm. And also, and the part one rice to the parts two water mm -hmm. mean that it's the perfect level of the water will cook out and then that leaves the perfect rice. Yes. So it looks pretty perfect yes. now. It is. It What's is, our is. next move? Then? Now, our next move, we're going to start frying the onions. Okay. And the reason we fry the onions first is because onions need to release flavor as well. And I know back home we've got this thing, this tendency of as soon as you put the onions, we so much hoy alles in. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 right. Yeah. yeah, but then you need to let the onions take out their flavor as well, so that when you put other ingredients in, they can actually take that onion flavor in. You know? Mm. Yeah, they need to relax. All right. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. So while we wait that for that to happen, we've got right. a caller calling us from Pretoria. Hi, how are you? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, Paula. how are you? Very well, thanks. How are, how are you? I'm great. What's your question or comment, my darling? Yes, I got a question for Nay uh, Map. I would like, hi, how are you, team? Hi, hi, hey, how are you? Are you good? Good, I'm good. I'd like yeah. to find out your wife. What, what did you say? I think it's shy. I want to. I want to find out why did you learn to speak Zulu fluently? Because when you see any Zalpi, Uzano, you play the, you speak very well in Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I learned. Okay, so at home we Zulus. My dad is Zulu, my mother is Kosa. and gr growing up in Pretoria, like you know, it's Tswana and Soto based. So it's, I'm like a mixed breed. So what I did when they told me I got the role for the show and that it's Zulu based, I put it upon myself to research even deeper and go harder into my, my craft and my work. Yeah. They told me it was based in KZN, and it's about two boys based in Guamashu. So I did my homework to find out what is Guamashu all about. KZN, how do they speak? Zulu is spoken in different ways in different areas in KZN. And for Guamashu, I had to be very relevant for that and relevant for my character. So I just put in the work to make Amazing. sure that the Zulu is, is, is proper. And I don't stop, I just keep perfecting it all the time. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for your, for your call. What a great question. Yeah. Thank you very much. Keep your calls coming. Now I wanna know, if you look at Zulu, Tswana, mm -hmm. Kosa, yeah. how different are the languages to learn? I mean, is it the, the difference between like Portuguese and Spanish or French and Italian? How mm. big is the difference in languages? Like, is it learning a whole new language? Or are there very close similarities? I think the, the similarities are in the Nguni languages, like your Zulu and Khosa. Yeah. They're not really the same, but there is a bit of a similarity. And then there's that huge difference, like Sp Spanish and what Portuguese, yeah. with regard, when it comes to Zulu and your Tuanas. The okay. Sutus are very, the pitch is higher. The dialect, the way they speak in the tone is higher, whereas okay. the Nguni sounds are very no. um, low, low pitched. Deeper. Yeah, so it, there is that difference. Okay, yeah. so I always, you know, I don't know if you know my full name is Jeannie Mabonengdi. Oh, okay, <laughs> I never knew that. Okay. I know, but now I really struggle with your character name in Ozalo. But oh. how, you've got it. Yes, do that again. No, give it to me again. Okay, first out of the, yes, and then you say, Olisi. Mm, Olisi. There you go. Mm, Olisi. High five. Like, I know that when you want to put a lot of sauce on the rice, you go, Olisa. Uh, what? Olisa. Kwa, kwa, that's the kwa Lisa. That's, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> oh, then what can I say in Portuguese? Like if I want to say something very nice. Uh, linda. Linda. Yeah, it's all you need to know. It means beautiful. 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. So Jeannie D is Linda. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes. Even though Linda in Zulu means wait, Linda. like we're like wait. Like, oh wait, really? Wait, yeah. As long as it doesn't like, mean oh. wait, it's okay. <laughs> Right, so now okay. what are we doing with our rice? Our onions have seemed to have browned a bit. Yeah, yeah. They're looking like they're going to be going a little sweet. Okay. Now the trick whenever making a curry or whenever you're spicing anything else, right, mm -hmm. is you're gonna, we're actually going to add uh, curry spice right now. And mm -hmm. you need to add your curry with the onions. After they become translucent, you add the curry in so that it actually picks up the flavor as well. It fries with the onion mm -hmm. and it actually... It gives that boldness to the sauce as well. All right. Like That's what, yeah. So you don't rush to put no, in the sauce. No, no, no. All right, Linda, Linda. Linda. Because we're yes. going to be taking another call, also from Pretoria. Hi, thanks for calling. What's your wow. question or comment? Shout out to Pretoria. Yeah. Uh, good so afternoon. Is uh, Hi, my honey. name's Anel, and I would just like to say hello to Mops. Um, he used to buy frozen yogurt for me on a Sunday. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to say hello to him. And uh, you used to buy frozen yogurt from her every Sunday. Oh, hi! <laughs> Shout out to you. How are you? <laughs> I'm so fine and you, Mark. Oh, good, good. I'm happy to hear from you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi. Uh, uh, I love you so much. You rock. She's got the you. best frozen yogurt in the country, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, shout out to so her. So is that your little Sunday treat? I love ice cream. I okay. love ice cream. I'm just hoping, I'm, I was waiting to hear from the chefs that after the whole rice, where is the ice the cream? The dessert. The dessert, uh, yeah. We'll take a plan. Right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so besides you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Actually, Clem can make ice cream. Perfect. He actually learned how to make a gin and tonic ice cream once. I'm serious? waiting for him to make it for me, but yeah, I can. Okay. Hopefully today Anans. will be our day. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. There we go. Okay. But that's looking amazing. Yeah. It is. So eh? I'm going to add one cinnamon stick in here. Right? Ooh, that is going to be a very interesting yeah. flavor. Yeah. I'm struggling I'm, to take it out. I can do it for you. I've right, got little cool. fingers. Okay. okay. I'm like a hamster. I'm all Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 all right. And then I'm going to add turmeric again. Just like that. Yes, I'm gonna add turmeric okay. again on it. What can I use? I want to st stir. I want the people to know that I can cook. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, and then a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit. All right. So stir it up for the flavors again to bind. Okay. All right. Bind and bold. So the rice is gonna get stirred through this. Yeah. So you kind of get to create like a bit of like a an uh, Indian fried rice? Yes. Hmm. Okay, that just sounds too good. That so just sounds too good. Take us back to Durban. Yep. <laughs> All right. What's it like living in Durban? I mean, I mean, we love, love Durban. But it, yeah. was it quite of an adjustment for you to have to move home? Um, moving, yes. It was an adjustment. Um, leaving home, pursuing my dream in a beautiful con uh, country, beautiful city. Yeah. I love Durban. It, it wasn't a very big transition with regards to the atmosphere. For me, I feel like Durban is like Pretoria, but it's more warmer, there's the ocean. Yeah, and, of course. And there's literally no winter in Durban. Can I start mixing the rice in yes, to your sauce? You, yeah. So could what do you do? somebody help you with Add pouring the rice in there, please? Wait, we're in here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to spoon it in. All right, all right. I'm really good right. at spooning. <laughs> I think we make a good combination. Is it, is it embarrassing when the guy's the little spoon? Is it? Yeah, it is. Sometimes a guy wants to be cut off. Sometimes a guy wants to be, just to be like, you know, why not? Someone back me up, someone back me up. No. Nobody's no. gonna back me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm alone on that one. I'm alone. <laughs> oh, that's looking so good. I love the way the turmeric's turned that rice, that vibrant If I had to be your little spoon, I'd look like your back Gone. Gone. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot in this it kitchen so today. Hot in this kitchen. <laughs> I'll just focus on the rice. I'll, I'll you, pretend you like I never saw anything. Don't get jealous now, Hesh. Yeah. Yeah. Not an attractive quality. Oh. oh my word, that rice is looking so good. What have we done so with the raisins? Yeah. All right. Now the raisins, I soak them for a while, right? For about three minutes, just for them to release that sugar. Because I want them mild. I don't want them too sweet. All right? Oh. And then... They also change color. They give it as that vibrant, you know, that mm. amber-like color. Yeah, Ooh. as well. Mm. Golden. Yeah. Ooh. So I hey, took. Chuck them in. So I took half of it and I chopped it up. All right. Okay. And it's also easier to chop after soaking. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm gonna add that in. So you did say that um, you put the water in the raisin so that it doesn't become very sweet. Yeah, right? too sweet. It's actually mild. Nice okay. and mild. Mm. You don't want to have sweets. In the rice. Yeah, you want Ooh. it to have the to curry. Sweet, nice sweet. This is a feast in the love today. Trust me on this one. It looks glorious. Oh. Oh. Oh my word! I'm so proud of us. I love when this happens. <laughs> Honestly, I could eat that rice just like that. That rice looks, looks really so, good. Eh? Yeah. So good. Yeah. Look at you, your skill. That folding. The way you mm. fold the rice. I know. So much talent. So thank much you. talent. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think you can take it off. You don't want to make pop now. The <laughs> ones. <laughs> After such a nice compliment. Yeah. Uh, no, my no, no. bad. My bad. Okay. What, what must you do? What do you want me to do? Take it over the heat, please. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pass this to you. Can you can dish it up go. in the bowl. There we go. Amazing. Are you ready? Now, last week we ran a cook-along competition where you stood a chance of winning a 1,000 rand Woolies voucher by cooking a gnocchi bolognese. Now we have the winner of that voucher, and the person is. Taryn Lee Forbes from Cape Town. Woo! Congratulations. Thank you so much for sending in your pick of your wonderful winning dish. Now, we've had so much fun today on the show, and we hope that you've enjoyed it. We're going to be right back after this. <laughs> Shame, I'll help you. Is it easier for you to do that? Tropica Slender is giving away a taste of paradise. To enter the competition, buy a Tropica Slender and complete the daily story with your own twist ending on the Tropica Facebook, Instagram pages or on Twitter when you follow at MyTropica with hashtag SlenderTwist. You could be the weekly winner of a beach hamper or LG DVD player and be entered into the grand prize draw for a trip for two to Seychelles, courtesy of Air Seychelles and the Savoy Resort and Spa. T's and C's and details are on tropica.coza. Coming up tomorrow on Afternoon Express, as the competition heats up, we sit down with the third last team to be eliminated from Tropica Island of Treasure, Seychelles. Plus, hip-hop superstar Cuesta chats about cleaning up at the 2017 Samas. All of that tomorrow, live at 4pm on SABC3. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's been such a sensational show, and I really hope that you've enjoyed cooking with us. So everything looks ready to dish. What is the correct plating? Is it like, I would usually go rice in the middle and then like dunk it with the, the curry over to absorb all the flavors, yeah. or do you want this separated? What's um, your perfect plating of this meal? I would say just like that, because you want to actually, it's like having everything in one. You don't want to be going there and going there. Just eat 
have the taste of everything in one okay. in one spoon. All right. Just yeah. Well, look, I, I know how African yeah. households are run, so the men can dish first. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. And of course, this is going to be delicious. I want to know what the verdict is. I want to yeah. see how good you are. And of course, you've got to get Hope Malau's cookbook available at all really good bookshops. Yeah. And if you manage to nail some of these dishes, I reckon the Lebola value goes way up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you know where you come from. Yeah. 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 There you go. I'm going to pass that to you All so right. that you can dish. Okay. You go Thank first. You. And then, oh, shame. Don't you want to. I'll, I'll bring the pot. Don't But worry. I want to try the rice on its own, though. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, let's actually try it. It's so Thank fragrant. You. Can I help you? Can I hold it for yeah, you? Yeah, thank you. Please. Oh, you are such Tastes. a gem. Thank mm -hmm. you. Absolutely glorious. Okay, rice How on its that? own. Yeah. Okay. We now. just pushed it at the bottom there from this little hut. You can actually have it on its own, eh? The rice. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Go for it. Don't you want to dish your curry first? Because right. then I'm going to take it around. But I'm, I'm going to get up. Here. Yeah. Come there you go. Look at us sitting oh, at the table. Oh, dinners are oh, just too divine. Oh. And we cooked quite a lot, which means I'm going to come into work tomorrow and have this. <laughs> <laughs> None of the crew is going to be able to have this. Right. But they never so, told you I'm actually taking some home. Are you? Yeah, scuffed I'm sorry. in? I'm sorry, scuffed in, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> With that ice cream bike. <laughs> you know? There you go. That's oh, so the for you? Cape Town thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to know, what's next for you? What are you busy working on at the moment? I am busy working on my music. Okay. I'm working on my music. Uh, will we hear an album? Definitely. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm not rushing into an album, but I think I'll start off with some singles. Okay. Single, release a single, and do performances, and then gradually build up to an album. Amazing. Yes, and then the clothing as well. I'm expanding my range as well. Awesome. Yeah. You are just killing it. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Everybody's loved you. We've seen online. And uh, you've been a, such a sensational guest. Thank you very Thank much you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you as well for coming. This is amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow. And Cuesta is going to be in the loft. So musical godliness is going to be in here tomorrow. Until then, good night and happy eating. Ciao. Bye. Oh, how glorious. Never feel good production.